Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about this, this idea of fake it till you make it and how kind of positivity kind of fits into this role with that too as well. And why is it that it doesn't really work? If anybody of you have ever tried it, I've tried it, fake it till you make it plenty of times. Max out my credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> bought cars that I couldn't really necessarily afford just to kind of like um, live that lifestyle of luxury uh, trying to keep up with the Joneses right and I'm gonna show you why it doesn't really work and I think it's this this movement that's happening in our culture where you have to try to behave a certain way and the outcomes will will come I have to pretend to be positive, I have to pretend to have the nice cars, I have to pretend to have the, have the big house, and if I pretend to have it, then I will have it. But here's the message that usually happens, the signal that you send, and why it doesn't work, is that you're secretly sending the message back down the line to that I can't have it, and I have to fake it. Because secretly, when you are faking it, you know you're faking it. So it doesn't make it real. And I like that phrase, be it and you will see it. <clears throat> Versus fake it until you make it. Be it. Just, just, just even saying that, just fake it till you make it. And be it and you will see it. You, you can just tell the energetic differences between those phrases. One is, you already it. You are. You already are confident. You already are love. You already are compassion. There is no faking it because you are it. And if you embrace that you are it, you will see it. Versus faking it because you're not it, <laughs> and then you will make it, right? You kind of notice the difference between the two. And I'm going to tell you how positivity fits into it as well. And I guess the best way I can describe it to you guys, I'm going to do it on the board here so you can kind of visualize it better as I talk about it. So, <clears throat> that took me a long time to draw. <laughs> I know, it looks like a three-year-old drew it, but it was me. <laughs> so, let's just, let's just imagine. <clears throat> this is you in your balloon, right? And let's imagine that the fire here is your positivity... That you have and you have your life and you want to build something you want to create something in your life you want to create love you want to you know have a great body you want a great career and this positivity or this this mentality of fake it till you make it right you put it here fake it till you make it <clears throat> this energy here that you're putting into your balloon it's very finite. You only have so much positivity in the day, right? And there's only so much energy that you have to just stay into that, that state of when you're faking it, trying to always look for the outcomes and the positives. There's only so much you can do in a day before you eventually crack, right? And then here you are in your balloon. So let me start here with your current reality. So this is your current reality state that you're in, in your present moment. And then this is your desired reality. Well, let's just say where you want to go. And so realistically, you want your balloon to go up, right? To float up to your desired reality. <clears throat> you're using positivity, you're using fake it till you make it, right? To move that balloon up. But if you notice, you have P here, which stands for your problems. <clears throat> problems or sabotage beliefs that you have and they're holding your balloon down and so some of these beliefs could be something like I'm not good enough let me put good enough here not good enough right <clears throat> not capable
It can be things that you don't want in your life, too, as well. Some things that you don't want to have. So, like, I don't want to... I don't want anxiety. I don't want, you know, my belly. I have a gut. You know, and when you say these things, and when you focus down on these things, when you're putting your energy down here, <clears throat> I don't want anxiety. Your body doesn't understand what it doesn't want. So it doesn't take don't commands. So if you say, or I'll give you an example. <clears throat> don't think of a pink elephant. Don't think of a pink elephant. I'm telling you right now, don't think of a pink elephant. <laughs> First thing that's coming up in your mind is a pink elephant. And it's because our mind doesn't process the don'ts. All it says is, I pink elephant. I pink elephant. So every time you're communicating to your body, I don't want something, you're basically telling it that you do want it. So you're focusing down on the problems here. I don't want anxiety. And or you're focusing on I'm not good enough. Or I'm not capable enough to have what I want in my desire in reality, which could be love. It could be I want to be confident. I want to be in good health. <clears throat> and so in order to kind of go in that direction of what you want, what we, mo what we all learn in society, fake it till you make it or use positivity. But I'm gonna tell you why that, that doesn't work. Because it's equivalent to, looking at the weight here that's holding your balloons down, it's equivalent to like r getting on a track putting a hundred pound weights on your back, then chugging a Red Bull, which is a positivity, fake it till you make it, chugging that Red Bull, and then trying to run around the track a mile with a hundred pound sack on your back. So very few people could probably do it. And the ones who do are gonna be like exhausted, right, from it. And how often could you keep that up? How often could you keep doing that every day, running around that track with a hundred pound sack on your back, right? Now, wouldn't it be easier would it be easier instead of trying to chug the Red Bull, trying to eat the, you know, the energy bars and the, you know, whatever, trying to get that energy, the positivity and the fake it till you make it, wouldn't it be easier just to let go of the weights? Take that weight off your back. And by taking the weight off your back, you slowly float up. Slowly float up to what your desired reality is, whether it's love, confidence, and health. <clears throat> and here in your desired reality that you're floating up to, these are things that you want. You want, and, and, and you communicate to your body what it is that you want. So here we had, I don't want anxiety. You communicate to your body that I, I want help, right? Or I want the fitness level of a fighter, right? Or whatever or your career you just you just put out into the universe what it is that you do want and not say what you don't want okay and that's what's important <clears throat> and so as you move up and you float up and you slowly let go of your problems you don't need as much positivity you don't need to fake it till you make it because we're already are positive and and that's that's the real trick of it all is that we're all born positive we're all born this creative spirit this creative energy and what ends up happening and i love the example that that Sagaru gives is that we all start off like this and then as life goes on we slowly turn like that we start off happy and not so much because as we go through life we start picking up problems so 
if our default nature is this pure positive being and we pick up these problems along the way there's no need to be adding extra positivity or these other methods it's really about dropping the baggage that we accumulated throughout our journey <clears throat> And I love this stuff. <laughs> Don't you guys like it? It's good. It's amazing. And so, if you like what we have, uh, if you like this channel, just please like it, subscribe, share it to your friends. And, and as you're developing your meditation practice, and you're becoming aware just of the things that you're focusing on, and you can even journal about it. You can journal about all the things that you probably say to yourself that you don't want. And then just look for the opposite. What is it that I do want? And just do that every day. Just focusing, what is it that I do want? What is it that I do want? And just like whenever you buy a new car, I don't know if any of you guys have ever done this. You buy, like, let's say you buy a Mercedes or something like that. And all of a sudden, now you see Mercedes everywhere in the street. You never saw it before, but as soon as you bought it, now you see it everywhere. That's what starts to happen. As you start focusing on the things you want, you start seeing possibilities everywhere. And that just gets you more, more momentum and more and just natural motivation that things are actually good. We actually do have it good. And lastly, just be patient with yourself. Ultimately, this is just a journey. And it's all about enjoying the process and the journey of it all. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next week. Bye for now. <laughs>